Hi there everyone. I thought it'd be uh, advisable to do a video on this same part. Um, I did a test and posted it previously using my scan plate that I'm working on, my prototype scan plate. And I wanted to show, someone asked me what exactly was the benefit of the scan plate. And I had a thought, well maybe on this part Maybe I made a wrong assumption that you could scan it another way and do it easier. Um, so I tried it without any aids at all. And this is what I got. I had a great deal of difficulty maintaining tracking, of course, because it's kind of featureless. We got the threads and a, a little embossing on the part and uh, some relief in a couple places. But other than that, it's it's white, it's shiny, it's featureless. Well, it's not really shiny, but you can see in the depth camera it, it has some reflection there. Anyway, I put some dots on it. I have these uh, sticker foam dots that I cut out with my K40 laser that uh, I used in an earlier experiment. Uh, regarding the tracking plate, I was I was working on that scanning plate. Uh, I thought the foam dots might work, but I, I thought the edges were too soft. Let's see, I try it from the same angles if I can get those. And the dots, you know, the dots work fairly well. It's just I'm wondering what kind of work it is to take those things off. If anybody has a better technique for removing your applied artifacts or your applied markers, 3D markers, whatever you're using. If you have a better way to do it than I'm showing you, please advise me. I'd, I'd love to, you know, I'm, this is mainly for the official Revel Point Pop users group on Facebook, uh, where I mostly post. This is for all my friends there. But just to see if I could do it another way. I think the scan plate makes it a little easier from just the standpoint of being able to reposition quickly and just hit start again and away you go and, and be pretty confident it's going to acquire tracking. With this I had to I had to kind of focus on the threads and where the dots were at the time during the revolution and so it, it takes a little more attention. See there, I have to go back and edit a little bit during the scan. But it's doable if, if you don't want to build a plate or use something like that. And by the way, anybody that's interested, I, I can supply you the, v, <laughs> the SVG file for the plate if you want to just cut it the same way I did. Of course, you couldn't probably couldn't glue the pieces on there in the same positions that I have and hopefully what I have is not unique enough that you can't reproduce it easily and, and that's what I'm going for I'm trying to get something everyone can reproduce and and help out in the scanning one thing I like to do as I've said before many times is elevate the piece with a with a chunk of uh, sculpey polymer clay uh, use black because it just disappears to the scanner and that way I get I get the uh, part elevated off the plat off the uh, turntable. It's kind of neat I pretty much latched on to that Sculpey from the very beginning with the pop one This by the way if I didn't mention enough is pop two with the v4 software and the firmware, I believe, is the production version. It's what everything will ship with, I'm told. So, I know everybody's getting excited. I'm still excited. I've had this, I've had this beta unit since November, and I'm still, I'm still super excited with it. It's just, it doesn't go away. And I've said many times, I've got such an education from these two little units. I, I, they're going to be sentimental to me for a long time as are some of my tools I've had for 50 or 60 years. <laughs> some things that go way back to when I was a teenager. 
I still have them and I still use them. Isn't that nice? The Pop 2 sure does a nice job on the surface. And I'm not using the best uh, mesh quality. I think I'm running it at 5. That's pretty good with a, a zero denoise. Here I am trying to take these things off. I just got fed up with that, so that's why I went to the scan plate. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, I'm going to post this so you can see it. And uh, see it punches holes. you got to take those out. A lot of work. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.